hi welcome back to another punch needle vlog so in the last video you saw me starting punch needling and in this one I've carried on punch needling and I've got some progress to show you and what I've been up to with it so I showed you the kits I bought them off Etsy but I don't think I showed you them complete so I completed the coasters anyway I haven't completed the little ones because I've moved on to other things so I don't think I've showed you these and these still need finishing but these were the coaster kits of Etsy and these are how they came out so they obviously need finishing off with the felt on the back that was those on that one and then I was doing a load of coasters as well and I don't think I showed you those well I might have shown you that I was putting on a new fabric onto my new board but I probably didn't show you me uh, or show you them complete so I'm going to show you the coasters that I've completed um, but just need finishing off now so I've literally got a whole load of co um, coasters that I've done so I've got this ladybird frog got the pokemon I did a cow print but with the orange so like an orange and cream then I've done the pumpkin and these ones I've done on the monk's cloth so it does fray but I didn't have no issue punch needling them I did find that I had to do more tidying up on the good side I had to push some bits in I don't know what I was doing if I was catching the loops too much and then I've got more now I think since I did that one I then started another board so I've got this paw and this fabric or thread here or this yarn is a multicoloured one hence the paw is all multicoloured so these all need finishing and then these ones have been done on my Webster's craft fabric so I've got the black and white checkerboard I've got the mushroom but in green I think I've got one in pink somewhere we'll come across that flower and then again this is with a multicoloured yarn a pink one and then I've got another one with another multicoloured yarn so it comes out like that but I've got loads <laughs> then I've got pink and grey heart I think I've got two of those yeah so I've got two of those and then in the same colour theme I've done one of those and then I've done it in black and white as well your typical cow print in your black and white there's the pink mushroom and I did a couple of evil eyes and then I've done more but I'm just in the process of um, doing the finishing on those so I'm just going to show you that because so I've got this whole bunch as well as these coasters that I need to finish the backs because I love doing the punch needle in bit but the finishing is the more trickier bit to me so let me find where I've put it so I'm going to just show you how I package them I'll show you that in a second um, but the first batch that I done where I done the backs I found they looked quite messy so I've been doing this whole stitching thing this is the last one I've got to do on this one but I've basically been stitching through it so these were hot glued on uh, and then I'm stitching to try and neaten the edges but it's a really hard work and it takes me ages just to do the one and I thought especially when you see like this massive bunch I've got I can't do that I can't do that whole stitching process with every coaster because that literally will take me weeks to do if I carry on doing this step with a needle so I thought I need to tidy up the backs I've got this tacky glue this is from Hobbycraft so I've got the fabric glue and that probably would work but I, somebody told me to try the tacky glue so I've tried that 
so I've done a couple last night so this is another evil eye and with the tacky glue I've stuck it down but what I've done because this is another one is I've got these fabric pegs that came in a kit that I had is when I'm I stick down and obviously the glue doesn't stick straight away so then I'm pegging the fabric down until it dries but basically these two have been done and I've done it on the two different fabrics I've done it on the monk's cloth and on the webster's cloth and they're stuck down so all these need doing is having the felt put on but I'm going to do all stick all the backs down first then we'll do the felt and hopefully the felt will I'm going to try and do it neater I need to do a neater circle or cut neater around it but that's how they're doing so I've got another minion and again where I've glued down I'm going to take these off now that's just staying down and then I can do more so I'm going to prep all the backs of these you have to be careful because it does leave an indent so I've just got to play about with the hoops there I'm going to take all those off of this and then I can glue some more so that's that one complete so then I'm getting a pile of almost half done complete coasters and then I can finish the backs off the other lot so I'll show you the ones that are packaged they're ready to go into the shop and then I'll just add these to the inventory once they're ready but I wanted to get those ones done but those ones were stitched uh, but moving on I don't want to stitch the backs so I just wanted to show you how I've packaged these ones up these are the ones I showed you in the last vlog so I've put them in these little cellophane bags I've made these labels using my mum bin label printer stuck those on and then these ones are the ones that I had to sew around the edges because they were looking messy on the back so my next set we're going to try and make them look a bit tidier so I've got a whole box of those all packaged and ready got the prices on the back and I put them in this little pot so I've started a new frame just put all the designs on it and these are all the Christmas designs and plus I'm going to try doing a keychain so I've done my initial and then I've done another one down there I'll try and do a double sided so we're on a road trip tomorrow and I'm going to start on this So I did show you the Christmas board that I've now started so I started doing that in the car when we was on our road trip so I just wanted to show you the progress but I haven't done much more with it because I've just concentrated on now trying to finish the coasters I've already got but basically this is my Christmas board and it's looking very Christmassy you've got your snowmen Put your candy cane your santa's hat i started doing the snowflakes they're trickier to do all that detail and i've done where i had some space i've done in my initial so i've done two i've got one there and the other one up here and i'm going to try and place them together and do to see if i can do a punch needle key ring so that's my christmas board so I'll show you that progress as I move along with it as they um, come towards completion but for now I need to get back to finishing those coasters.
So I've ended up hot gluing instead. So I've got my hot glue gun and I've done these ones so far and I'm hot gluing them but I'm doing them in smaller sections and I'm really taking my time to make sure they're pressed down and pushed in so that from the top side you can't see them. So I've done these ones so far and I've also hot glued the big coasters. I haven't done the bottoms so I'm going to continue to finish at least hot gluing the fabric bit down and then we need to move on to the felt section which is the bit I'm most nervous about. So I'm going to carry on doing that and I'll check in with you guys soon. So it's the next day and I've almost finished the backs. So all the backs, or the felt of the backs have been glued on and this time I did use the tacky glue to do that. So they've been glued on but I still need to trim but I'm just letting the glue set for a bit. Same with these, they've been done but I just need to trim closer round. This one I did as a tester so that's how it will look finished. I'm literally just waiting for that glue to set to make sure that it's all dry before I start cutting and I've literally got the whole basket full. These ones, the foam is a sticky foam, so it sticks and then I glued it extra. Whereas these ones, the foam didn't have a sticky back and it's more of a textured foam. So these ones I had to glue and then I've just used some fabric pegs to peg them in so they're all in there just drying basically and maybe this evening I will go round and I'll give them the trim and tidy them up although you can see that's not even stuck yet so I don't want to cut that until it's completely stuck down but it can take a while so I'm just going to leave those to set uh, trim them up and then they're ready to be packaged up So all my car coasters have been packaged, finished, sealed, labelled, they all fit nicely into my basket. So there they all are in the basket. 
There's 21, I think I counted, in here. And then I packaged these up in their bags, but I haven't got coaster labels for those, so I might just put just normal labels. Um, and then I just need to put price tags on the back for my shop. But they are all ready to go. So I'm gonna price them and then I'm gonna get working on my Christmas board. So I've decided I'm gonna print some more label stickers. I'm gonna make some for my coasters. So I've got my Munbin app on my phone. I'm gonna print a few more ready for when the other coasters are ready. And then I'll just edit that and make it into a coaster one purely for those four coasters that I have. So this was from Amazon, so I'll link it down below. This is the Bluetooth one, or Wi-Fi. Is it Wi-Fi or Bluetooth? I think it's both. And it just connects straight from the phone, no, apart from the power cord, no other plugging in. And then I've got these tie-dye labels. So let's print, and we're gonna print, I'll print one just to check it's working. So you can see that's off. We'll go again. So now that's working. That's lined up. So now I'm going to print another 15. And I'll just make sure. I don't have one of the roll holders at the back. So I'll just make sure that's loose. And let's go. So where it twisted, I lost a couple because I don't have the label holder. Let me print a couple more. Okay. So I've got 17 new labels and I lost two. So that's fine. And I'm literally just gonna edit this and remove the word car and make four coaster ones. So the coaster labels are done and I'm just going to stick them onto the front of my packaging so then people actually know that they are tufted coasters. And I think it just finishes off the product, makes it look more professional. coasters labelled up. Easy. So I was always in two minds about buying one of these but yeah they're an expensive layout to start with but they change your labelling game so I will link this one in my description box below. Okay, so the board is all complete, as in it's all been tufted, and now what I've just done is I've just put on some fabric glue onto the back. So I've just painted that on using a spatula, just coating it on just to stick those stray bits down. It starts going transparent once it's, once it's dry, so you can see like there it looks white, but I'm going to leave this overnight before I cut it all out. So. Once I start cutting, we'll be back to show you the next step.
so the Christmas car coasters are all finished. I've put on the felt back in. I've trimmed them. So they're the snowmen. Then we've got the candy canes. The Christmas hats. The candy cane with the green back in. And my snowflakes. So what I'm going to do to finish these off is I'm going to put them in their bags like you've seen me do before and put the logo stickers on, bag them all up, price them up and they're ready to go for sale.